Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shaden and you're watching the Joomla YouTube channel. In this video, we'll talk about the layout manager in JD Builder. Now, before I go on with the rest of the video, I want to point out that someone emailed today and said that in some of the videos we have been going too fast. Uh, I probably made like 80% of the videos on our, this channel. So I'm going to make sure we don't go too fast, but at the same time, we don't go too slow either. So I'm going to try to keep a steady pace to make sure it's comfortable with everyone. With that in mind, let's look at the layout manager. Now, within a first glance, it can be a little confusing the way it works and what controls you have and what you can and cannot do. And there's a simple hierarchy that is followed. At the top level, you have the sections which are always green. Now, each of the elements have this grid icon and when you mouse over, you get these additional controls. And you have these nice tooltips that lets you, you know, do a lot, lets you really either move them or uh, open the column settings in this case, adding a new element or disabling the visibility and then deleting it. So the controls vary by the element or the column or the section you are adding, but really they do help a lot with the tooltips. Back to the hierarchy, at the top we have the section settings. Uh, and actually we have the section and you can have unlimited sections in the page. Sections line up vertically and they are the top of the food chain at the very top. Inside the section you have rows where the controls are on the right towards the page. You can have unlimited rows within a section and you can uh, have unlimited rows uh, within the section and they also line up vertically. In each row you have columns which are these purple icons and the way these columns work is that you can have 12 columns I think but the total of it must be 12. So the width, it, it, this is based on a simple grid system where the total of whatever you're trying to do is 12 must be 12. So you can see you have 12, which is a full width column. You can have six and six, which is a 50-50 column. You can have nine and three, which is more of a 70-30 ratio and all of that. Inside columns, you have elements. Now the blue one are elements and the orange ones are actually in a row. So to achieve some complex layout inside a column, Instead of directly adding elements, you can add an inner row and then add elements inside. And that's as far as I will go because there, there's a lot to it. And if you start going to the settings of this, this will get a lot confusing. So to paraphrase, at the top of the hierarchy, top of the food chain, we have the section. You can have unlimited sections on the page and sections line up vertically. Inside sections you have rows, you can have unlimited rows in a section, rows also line up vertically. Inside rows you have columns which however line up horizontally, left to right. And you can probably have two columns or three columns or four columns, but the total of this must be 12. And when I say total, I mean the width total. Uh, you can read more about this probably, uh, you know, on the grid system, Bootstrap and every other popular grid system is actually based on this. Inside columns, you have elements, which can be an inner row, which is an element, or you can have heading or any other kind of elements. And you have settings on each of these levels. Just click the gear icon and you'll be able to under, uh, get the settings and, and really just see what's going on and what's not going on. And that's it. I hope this explains how the layout manager works. And please let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching.